What's up everybody, it's Reza here from Autosport. So today we're working on this 2024 Y62 Patrol Warrior. Um, as you all know, the 2024 Y62s don't come with a 360 camera, but don't worry because we've got UI covered. We've got our 360 camera unit and another thing we're gonna be installing on this vehicle is our specific design head unit. So have a look. That's the original infotainment system, but we're gonna be upgrading it to our 13.3 inch, a specific design head unit. So we just finished working on the 2024 Y62 Patrol. We finished installing our 360 camera with our 13.3 inch a specific design head unit. So come here, I'll show you the cameras. For the 360 camera, we got four cameras going around. The first one is here in the front. So we just mount that right under the Nissan logo. We've got another one going on under the driver mirror. So that's the second camera. The third camera, we've installed it right above the number plate. So that's where the original camera was. We've removed the original camera, mount this new one on. And the last camera is on the, the passenger mirror. So these are all four cameras. And now let's take you to inside of the vehicle. We finished upgrading our specific design 13.3 inch head unit for the Y62. Um, we done the digital cluster and we've also upgraded the 360 camera. As you all know, the 2024 version of the y 6 s don't come with the 360 camera, but we've installed our 360 camera units with 1080p cameras, um, fully controllable by touchscreen. So now as I put the vehicle in reverse, I'll get the 360 camera coming on. I've got the bird eye view there. I've got the reversing camera over here. I can adjust the parking guidelines by turning the steering wheel so they are um, aligned with the car here. Um, I can change the views. Once I'm out of reverse, I can change between different views, side views, front views, um, or the bird eye view. So I can go around there. I've got my towable here. Um, I can go around all the vehicles. So that's something you couldn't do with the original 360 camera of your Y62. I can zoom out, zoom in and see every spot around your vehicle. So that is how good is this? Um, so you can indicate left, you'll get the left side coming on, indicate right and right side will be shown. Um, again, you've got a couple of different modes to view the front camera. Um, so they are all accessible from down here. Um, going back, we've got the Apple CarPlay. So this is wireless Apple CarPlay currently connected to my phone. So you can access all your apps, music, messages. So here is my Google map, like put in any address and it will be bringing it up instantly. So there we go. So that's the map. If you've got Waze, Spotify, any app, it will show it up here. If you press this car icon, it will take us back to this home screen. So um, to access your 360 camera, you can go there easily, get it on anytime. Um, or as you put the car in reverse or indicate left or right, you'll be able to get the cameras coming on. So now I'm indicating right or I'm indicating left, I'll get the cameras coming on straight away. That is optional. So if you don't want your cameras to come on when you're indicating, you can turn that off from the setting in 360 camera settings. So just go there, you can turn that option off. Uh, but they will also come on as you put the vehicle in reverse. So just like that. Um, some other features this unit has, you can download and install any app that you want onto this unit. So they've got Play Store. You can connect your phone by sharing your phone hotspot, get it connected through the Wi-Fi, and then you will have internet access on your unit. And that way you will be able to download any app that you want straight on here. So it already has YouTube, you can get Netflix or any other app. There is another way to get these units connected to internet and that is by inserting a little SIM card here. So they've got a SIM card input in here. What you can do is you can insert a SIM and your unit will have internet access to it all the time. Um, the factory setting that you had on your vehicle, 
that will be remained on here on this vehicle we don't have the rear headrest monitors but if you do have rear headrest monitor on your vehicle you can turn them on from here and easily adjust everything um we've got the car information so that's the trip computer total mileage driving mile um tar pressure monitoring that would also be showing while you start driving the car so as soon as you start driving the car it will bring up your tire pressure monitoring details on here um to go back to the carplay press on that you'll be back onto the carplay and you've got new hazard lights button over here so as you press the hazard you see both side of your car um new air vents ac panel so you can control the conditioning from these buttons over here once i turn the lights on this is how it lights up or i can also control everything from the touch screen so it's dual that is the driver side that is the passenger side i can control it from the touch screen or by just using this ac panel down here um there is a little section here if i press that if i um, pull this up i've got a massive storage box down here so it's perfect to store phones wallet and etc just tuck in there and easy as you've got your factory usb port connected to this unit so um you can plug a usb there charge your phone and go from there um have a look at this digital cluster so this is our cluster type 2 um this customer preferred the type 2 cluster so we've got it done for him and that is how it looks so you've got three different pages by pressing this button up here you can change between the pages that's the pitch and roll mode you've got also the steering wheel angle so as i start twisting my steering wheel you see the angles moving um the next mode is the driving mode i've got the rpm and the autometer and also that's the other mode uh, with this little down button you can change the info on that section there so date and time um average fuel and trip computer battery voltage oil pressure and also on the 2024 y62s you are missing the tire pressure monitoring but with our digital cluster you will be able to get that coming on so as you start the vehicle the tire pressure monitoring for each individual tire will be showing up there um unlike the factory cluster and another thing we've done is our res 4k dash cam so here is the dash cam we installed for this customer it's got front and rear dash cam the back camera is just on the rear windscreen and that's the front camera this unit can record when the vehicle is on or when it's parked so that's if you're looking for a dash cam that's the way to go so now we're taking the car for a quick drive to have a look at the 360 camera um first of all you can get the camera coming on by going into that app or just pressing that um camera button so you can see everything from above here you can change to front camera or not just having the bird eye view going on there so put it on the front camera for now even if you're on let's say carplay um as you indicate so if i indicate right now i've got my right camera showing up which is very helpful when it comes to changing lane and as i indicate left i've got the left camera coming up so that will stay on for a couple of seconds and then it will go back to the map um now that feature can be disabled from the settings if you don't like to have that coming on but i reckon it's pretty cool so like when you're indicating you get to see everything just make sure you're good nice and safe so you can see the bird eye view and the side as well we're gonna test out the night vision of our 360 camera so i'll put the vehicle in reverse and that is the night vision of the camera so that's the back camera still nice and clear and this is the bare eye view so you can still see everything nice and clear um let's go to the 360 camera app just like that so i can scroll around the car and even though it's night but you can still see everything clearly so that is how good the quality of our 360 cameras are side views front camera rear camera 
all right guys thanks for staying with us all the way to the end of this video if you like a setup just like this done on your vehicle or if you basically like a digital cluster a head unit or a steering wheel or a 360 camera or if you've got a different vehicle you're looking to upgrade your head unit or basically you're looking just for a simple camera 360 camera dash cam or anything feel free to comment below or reach out to us at autosportstore at gmail.com we'd be more than happy to help you out we've got stores in brisbane we've got installers in melbourne sydney newcastle and auckland new zealand we do and we also send all our products all across australia so doesn't matter where you are if you're looking to get yourself a unit for your vehicle reach out to us we've got your back thank you